Okay, we're going to have a quick look at how Microsoft Excel works. I'm going to start a new file here. And uh, here we go. All right, I'm going to start top left hand corner at cell A1, and I'm going to type a heading like you would normally type to identify what's going to be in the column. So I might type, um, this is a heading. Okay, and you notice that the heading, this heading, this is a heading, kind of bleeds over into the B cell. That's not really that big of a problem because, as you see, you can still read it. But what if I put something in the B cell, like uh, this too is a heading? Okay, now I got a problem. The, the, uh, the A cell is kind of going underneath the B cell. So here's how you fix that problem. If I go into the heading, the actual Excel heading area here, my cursor changes shape to be this down arrow. And if I click, it selects the whole column. Same thing in the B column. I can select the whole B column. But notice in between, it changes shape there. See right there, it becomes a cross. Okay, when it becomes a cross, I can click the left click and move the thing over and made it, make it wider. Now I've made the entire A column wider. I can do the same thing with the B column. Can move that a little bit, make it wider. Now they're wide enough that they're that they're going to um, actually have enough room for the for the actual heading I made. I'm going to delete this heading, and I'm going to do something a little different with it. I'm going to put some numbers in here. I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to hit twelve, and then a larger number. Okay. Now, let's make this smaller. Ah, see what happens? When the column is too small for the number, it puts these pound signs in there to say you're not seeing the whole number. So one of the things I can do um, is I can just move it over and make it bigger. But Excel has a nice feature where if you make your cursor go on the uh, basically on the resize here, you can double click on that. And what it does is Excel goes through the whole column and says, what is the widest one? And it makes the cell as wide as the widest one. So that's basically how you uh, manage making the cells wider or narrower. Uh, you can either do it manually, or you can double click and let it do it itself. Um, you can also change the height of the, of the um, rows. And when you do that, you sometimes get some unintended consequences. Sometimes when you when you uh, make the row a different size, um, it, it ends up looking like that. It's all kind of set on the bottom, and that's maybe not what you intended to do. So select the whole heading. I'm assuming that you're going to make a bunch of headings here. Select the whole thing over here. Right-click on it. Go to Format Cells. And change your alignment to Center and in this case centers. Center horizontally and center ver vertically and hit OK. And what do you know? Now your heading's right in the middle. If I make this wider, it stays right there in the middle. So that's um, how you manage uh, getting around the rows and columns, the, the height and width of the cells. Um, you can change, for instance, you can change a number of cells row heights all at once by selecting them all and then changing one of them. And they all change to make a uniform cell height. Same thing with width. If I pick three or four of these and I change one of them, they all go to the exactly the same width. So that'll help you in making things exactly uniform if that's what you're looking to do. That's it.